Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. I'm your host Israr Ahmed Khan and today my lesson is on reading for ideas. Reading for ideas is in English language paper 1123-2. So let's get started. There are 25 marks for this part of the paper. There are 12 marks for the uh, for content points, 10 marks for summary, and three marks for fact and opinion question. A non-fictional passage containing five to six paragraphs will be given. These passages uh, may contain material on various topics like water, tea, gold, internet, railways, etc. Students have to show their ability to distinguish between facts and opinion. The content point question may be divided into two categories like advantages and disadvantages, past and present stages in the development and reasons for continuing, continuing popularity, etc. Students can generally label sentences containing adjectives as opinions. Facts can be verified and opinions may be different. A fact may be followed by certain examples which begin with the following words. For example, a good example of like, as, etc. Donald Trump is the president of the United States is a fact. Donald Trump is the worst president of the United States is an opinion. It may be supported by some people and opposed by others. Many people like coffee is a fact. Coffee is very tasty is an opinion. Similarly, gold is a precious Precious metal is a fact. Only little amount of gold can cost thousands of dollars. And I recently paid Park rupees 90,000 for 10 grams of gold. Are uh, the examples of gold is a precious metal. There are two separate columns given in the answer sheet to write down content points. You must write down, uh, you must write the content points in its proper column. You're likely to lose marks if you, uh, if the content point is wrongly placed. The rise and spread of silk in former times. Reasons why silk is valued in modern times. So there is a comparison between former times and modern times, and that is about silk. So our uh, passage is on silk. Now I have divided this passage into uh, sentences. You know, each uh, paragraph has been uh, conveyed into separate sentences for your uh convenience and each sentence is indicated with a bullet so here is the first one silk is an exceptionally beautiful material that silkworms produce when they are making their cocoons legend gives credit for the discovery of silk to li zu a chinese empress who having seen a cocoon fall into her tea, watched it unravel and realized the cocoon was made from a long thread, both soft and strong, that came to be known as silk. So as you can see, this uh, the words in purple color are the, the words that are given in that uh, question paper, you know, given point is uh, there. Uh, and you must have seen uh, 
all those uh, words in black color that have surrounded that means there is a lot of distra uh, distraction there are a lot of distractors and you have to simply you know strain the content point and here is the second sentence uh, third sentence the, they are soon followed perhaps uh, by the same empress the the invention of silk reels and the silk looms which made the silk threads and enabled them to be spun into fabric again uh, black words uh, sir, uh, giving company to the blue words words in blue um, that that is our first point it would be fascinating this is a continuation of the first paragraph uh, it's a long one it would be fascinating to know if the legend is true but what is certainly known is that silk became a valued commodity reserved for clothing for empress emperors as or as gifts to be given to his court guests i have uh, highlighted these uh, bullet points and uh, i want you to explore yourselves uh, where they are and what they uh, i mean how how to to search them obviously all visitors to the royal court who wore given gifts or of silk would be entranced by its exclusivity through times sari culture the manufacture of silk spread so that ordinary people were allowed to wear it another point the use of silk was not confined to clothing it had many diverse uses of manufacturing processes such as paper uh, as of paper fishing lines and bows uh, for musical instruments at one point it was considered so valuable that it was even used as money in some chinese dynasties paragraph 2 the chinese managed to keep silk market uh, making methods a secret for about 1000 years that's a lot its manufacture its manufacture was shrouded in myths and smuggling silkworms out of china was punishable by death however so, so as you can see there is no content point in this sentence so there is a possibility that some sentences might not have any content points however some smugglers were successful and the secret spread quickly to other parts of the world that means you know that it was smuggled and uh, you if you write it uh, it was smuggled uh, that you can also get marks uh, such as Korea, Egypt, India, the Middle East, and eventually Europe. Continuation of second paragraph. Early evidence of long distance silk trade was the discovery of silk in a 3000 year old Egyptian mummy. And an ancient religious text describes how silk was used in purification ceremonies following an outbreak of disease such as leprosy although many other next sentence although many other goods uh, such as gold and jade were also exchanged through time the trade in silk became so extensive that the major trade route between asia and europe actually became known as the silk road Paragraph three, silk continues. Now, this is a transition, okay? That means now we are moving from one section to the other one. 
silk continues to be a valued commodity in modern times. It takes dye well and it takes dye well and can be made in brilliant, luminous colors. Next sentence, silk has a smooth, soft texture and because it is neither stiff nor limp, it hangs well and is ideal for elegant clothing. Next sentence, this elegance is enhanced by the attractive shimmering appearance of silk caused by its structure which allows it to reflect light at different angles. Next sentence, it blends well with fibers such as wool, camel hair or cotton and can also be combined with other fibers to produce, for example, chiffon, crepe, de, uh, de chine or, and uh, taffeta or maybe taffeta. Uh, the continuation of the same paragraph, as it is absorbent, silk is comfortable to wear in hot climates. However, because it does not easily conduct heat, it keeps warm air close to the skin during cold weather. That means you can write, it is com uh, comforting or we, we feel comfortable in both weathers while wearing silk, making it suitable for all temperatures. Silk is also excellent in, in the manufacturing of clothing to protect wearers against bites from insects such as mosquitoes and horse flies. Then paragraph four, wool and cotton are made of short lengths of fiber woven together. By comparison, silk is made from long continuous fibers which can, be, uh, which can bend or stretch without breaking, making it very strong. This strength is particularly valuable in the manufacture of equipment such as uh, parachutes, medical stitches, and other life-saving devices used by emergency services. So you see this sentence does not have any point at all because it, it's not talking about the use of that, you know, uh, silk. Uh, next uh, continuation. The durability of silk was shown when a sunken ship was brought to the sea's surface after being submerged for many years. Silk clothing on board was intact. Whereas the crew's uniforms made of wool and cotton had disappeared without trace. Silk is sometimes worn today to show status or professional standing in the legal profession in many parts of the world, for example, top-ranking lawyers wear silk gowns. Paragraph 5. The manufacture of silk also has its critics who argue that because harvesting silkworm cocoons involves the killing of larvae, sericulture is cruel. Next sentence, Mahatma Gandhi was uh, critical of silk making and advocated the production of other fabrics, notably cotton. Nevertheless, the demand for silk continues. Uh, now look at this, these three sentences, no point whatsoever, because if you could match uh, this with the title given, that is, uh, th then you can understand uh, why these are not main points. The rearing of silkworms and the reeling of silk are labor intensive process pr processes which are reflected in the price, meaning that many people will 
always be anxious to own silk as an exclusive symbol of wealth. So now we have taken out the content point. So let's talk about the next uh, part and that is summary writing. When you have taken out the content points, you are required to write the summary of those points. This question carries 10 marks. There are certain aspects of summary writing that need our consideration. And here are those uh, aspects. A summary is a form of formal continuous writing. It is written in one paragraph. It contains information mentioned in the content points. It follows the same tense as the passage does. It follows the same content point order as the passage does. Sentences in a summary should be connected with connectors. No additional information is given in a summary. Be careful, no additional information. No content point should be missed in a summary. No content point should be missed. No contractions are used in a summary. Even if you use some contractions like don't or can't, they are considered single word, uh, two words. So it's there is no point in writing them uh, together. 150, you write 150 to 180 words all together. The first 10 words are included in the above number. That means if you have written uh, 150 words, that means you have actually written 140 words. And if you have written 180 words, that means you have actually written 170 words. Each and every word is counted in a summary. A, and the, in, on, to. They are all considered separate words. After you have taken out the content points, write them in complete sentences. Remember in the content point question, you did not write, uh, you did not always write complete sentences maybe fragments, maybe phrases, maybe clauses, but not complete sentences all the time. But here in the summary, you have to show your language skills. Use connectors to connect sentences. You know, connectors are necessary component to give coherence to the summary. Count all the words that you have written count each and every word add or subtract words to match the word count format now use your notes now this is a question that i have copied from uh, the past paper last past paper that was uh, october november 2019 now use your notes from 1a that is, uh, of course, content, uh, content point question, to write a summary of the rise and spread of silk in former times and the reasons why silk is valued in modern times. As outlined in the passage, candidates have now fleshed out their notes into a piece of formal continuous prose. Candidates are advised to write between 150 to 180 words, including the first, uh, including the 10 words given. Marks are awarded for producing a piece of, of writing which is relevant and coherent. Relevant means it should have all those points which are required, content points and it should be coherent. That means all those sentences should be glued with uh, with each uh, with one another. Of course, with the use of connectors. Now, here how you will begin. Please, who saw a cocoon made from a long thread, and you have to complete this sentence. This is an unfinished sentence. Okay. So with this, we come to the end of 
oh no, with this we come to the end of the summary writing. After the summary writing, there are three questions, three, uh, three marks are left. So they are based on facts and opinion. So there, uh, here is uh, an exercise that will distinguish facts uh, and opinions. Um, I have written, as you can see, I have written these uh, sentences. So you have to find out whether these sentences show facts or opinion. I will read, uh, read out one, two uh, sentences, first two, three sentences. Number one, the fastest land dwelling creature is the cheetah. Now ask yourself this question. Can it be verified? Can this claim be verified that cheetah is the fastest dwelling creature? If it can, that means it is a fact, right? Then number two, Michael Jordan has a career, career average of 30.4 points per game. Now, if there is a record uh, present, then obviously we can uh, check from there. Then it cannot be an opinion, it can, it can be a fact. George Washington was the first president of the United States under the Constitution. So if we have a look at the Constitution, US Constitution, we will find out uh, whether it is a fact or an opinion. The ugliest sea creature is the manatee. manatee. Now, this one is an opinion. Why? Because it may seem the ugliest to the speaker, but it may not be that ugly for some other people, right? So have a look at all these sentences. They are uh, on the next page also. 25 and uh, by the time you finish this exercise you will have a fair amount of idea of uh, facts and opinion right so that's it thanks for watching english essentials with iak it's goodbye till my next video take care